3.7 two trains a and b of length 400 meter each are moving on a on two parallel tracks with a uniform speed of 72 kilometers per hour the same direction with a ahead of b let's say this is it uh, this are these are two parallel tracks and train a orange train a is ahead of train b this is train a this is train a it is ahead of train b this train b is green train b this is behind a both are of length 400 meters this is train B. Both are of length 400 meters. So this is 400 meter. Length of train A. Length of train B is also 400 meter. Both are moving with a uniform speed of 72 kilometers per hour. So velocity of A is 72 kilometer. Per hour velocity of B is 72 kilometers per hour. Now the driver of B decides to overtake A and accelerates by 1 meter per second square. B is behind A and the driver of B decides to overtake A. So to initially they are traveling with same velocity in forward directions. So with same velocities B cannot overtake A. The separation between them will remain same. To overtake train B has to accelerate. So it decides train driver of train B decides to accelerate to overtake. So he accelerates with one meter per second squared. If after fifty second the guard of B just brushes past the driver of A. Where does the guard sit? In the front of the train there is driver. Driver sits in the front and guard in the last bogey. Or there is a guard's bogey. Driver at the front and guard at the last. So that is given the guard of B just brushes part the driver of A. His final position is the train B reaches some position relative to A that its guard just clears driver of train A. The, what is asked? What was the original distance between them? Original distance between them. There was some distance between the trains initially. So let the distance be D. So distance will be the distance of driver from the guard. This is the distance between the trains. Original distance they have ah, they have asked what was the original distance between them whom guard of B and driver of A. Finally they have brushed Guard of G just brushes past it. So initially, guard of B was at a distance this 400 plus the distance between this gap between the trains and the 400 meter length of train A. Let the distance B between driver of A and guard of B. Let it be D, this distance, this distance initial, driver of A and guard of B, this distance in yellow be D. Now, now how to proceed? To solve such problems involving two bodies, if we have single body, we have just applied the equation of motion and so on. But when they are, there is motion of more than one body, we will, it will be easier to deal them relatively because their relative distance, the driver of 
is the train A is moving, so driver is also moving, and B is also moving, but with with some acceleration. So driver of guard of B brushes past the driver of A. So both are moving. So to deal with the problems in which both bodies are moving, it will be easier if we define motion of one body with respect to another. So in this case, it will be convenient to describe motion of motion with respect to let's say wish to choose with respect to A. So with respect to A, we will take A the driver's position with respect to driver's position we will take this point as zero of our frame this is a moving frame the relative velocity discussed will be moving frame let us denote it by cyan so this is our frame attached to the driver of train A this is origin positive direction is forward and it is backward so define initial condition and final condition and then find the <coughs> distance, original distance. So, initial position of guard of B with respect to A. Position of guard of B with respect to A. Position is uh, its, its velocity. First, define position. Initial position of guard of B with respect to A. Let's denote by A. again. You have written V. Sorry this position denoted by x initial position of b means at 0 with respect to a that is <coughs> minus d let's say it is in meters d meter and 72 km per hour should also be converted to meter for consistency of units so i can write it as 2 into 5 by 18 or 18 is 4 times that is 20 meter per second so this so far and this is the case. final position of B with respect to A is 0 this guard of B this is driver of A and uh, initial velocity of B with respect to A is zero. Both are traveling initially with same velocity, 20 meter per second. Uh, and uh, we have initial distance. We have initial distance, relative distances, relative velocity, and acceleration. Now acceleration, acceleration of B with respect to A is equal to acceleration of B minus acceleration of A. Acceleration of A is zero. A is not accelerating. So it is equal to acceleration of B. Acceleration of A is zero. That is one meter per second squared. Squared. So what values do we have now? We have a displacement. Displacement that is final minus initial value. Delta x B A. Displacement of B with respect to A is equal to final value minus initial value. D. Now, initial velocity we know, final we don't know. We have acceleration, we have to find this distance. So, and time, we are given time, yes. We have time, this is given after 50 seconds. So, time is 50 seconds. Time is independent of the frame, it doesn't define which frame you are taking with respect to what you are solving the problem. So, which equation will we? use here 
we have time, acceleration and other things. We will use equation delta x or it is modified for displacement is equal to v naught t plus half a t square. This is for this general equation. It can be used for relative velocities because we are dealing in the frame A. These equations are applicable in any non accelerated non inertial frame. So we can write delta x is d v naught is relative everything is relative now. V naught is V B A naught. So it is zero initial separation is zero into time the plus half into solution is one into time is fifty it's squared. So what is the final result? We have D is equal to fifty square it is twenty five hundred by two that is twelve fifty meter. This is the answer.